I get really cross when I hear some of the things that people say about the brain. There's a lot of things that are just absolutely wrong. I'm Trish Riddle and I'm a consultant neuroscientist. I spent the last 30 years working in the university sector where I teach and do research in psychology and neuroscience. This video is a, um, an opportunity for me to tell you about what I think is important about learning about the brain and why I really think that the brain is an, it should be something that everybody learns about, not just neuroscientists and universities, but the, the general public, because it's so valuable in, in being able to, to work out what other things you could do in your life, how you can motivate yourself and others better, how you can learn better. It has so many implications for, for just day-to-day -day living that I would have it as a curriculum subject in every school in the country if I had my way. I'm lucky enough to have worked with some of the top scientists in the world during the time that I've, I've studied. So I started out at, at Glasgow and then went to Imperial College and then finally ended up at Oxford where I worked with some amazing people. That's probably one of the, the, the best periods of my life in terms of the things that I did and, the, and the, the things that I found out about myself. I sang in a band, I played volleyball, I rode, I I did lots of things that I would, I would have challenged myself to, to think that I could do before getting to Oxford. But the peer group that I had there, everybody did it and it made it easy for me to do it too. Keeping up with the scientific literature is a full time job for me. I probably spend hours every day just reading papers and you know, finding out what's latest in the field and love doing it too. But the field is moving at such a rate that it's really hard for anybody to keep up with everything. And so it's important to have experts that can commit time to that process and then for those experts to be out there communicating that information to everybody else. Making a difference in people's lives has always been something that's important to me, been important to me. And and I've done that through my university teaching, but that kind of limits your audience a bit. And so I'm really excited about the idea of, re of communicating the things that I know and the things that I know can help people to a much, much wider audience. The last 30 years of research in the brain has probably been about getting the basics right, knowing which bits of the brain do what and how they're all wired together to create complex behaviours. But there's a revolution coming because now we're at a place where we can actually start applying that knowledge and seeing how we can change things in the brain to influence individual people's behaviour in a way that could make the world a better place for everyone.